We've been talking a lot about the weather. For more on the forecast, let's bring in meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell in the CTV Weather Center. Kaylin. And it is positive news in the forecast as we move into and through the weekend. Rain drizzle and fog expected. Uh, the rain steadiest for Nova Scotia. Cooler temperatures will prevail as well. And a somewhat cooler and damper brand of air for the Maritimes does look like it'll carry on into the start of next week. Air quality statements related to the presence of wildfire smoke still in effect up and down the Atlantic coastline of Nova Scotia. Though we should see some change in the direction of that wildfire smoke as we move through the day. And that is coming with a change in the wind direction. Winds becoming north and northeast in behind a front that is moving north to south across the Maritimes. At times, those winds are going to be a little bit gusty today between 30 and 50 kilometers per hour. Here's looking at a forecast for some of the movement of that near surface smoke. A lot of it coming off of that uh, very, very large fire down and through Shelburne County. You will notice that as we move into this evening and tonight, there is a change in the direction of that near surface smoke being directed more towards the south. And that would be because of the change in the wind direction and those winds again becoming north and northeast. Taking a look at temperatures, temperatures have already cooled off quite dramatically. Eastern areas of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, northern eastern areas of Nova Scotia. That's where the front has already moved through. Uh, that front will continue to work its way towards the southwest New Brunswick and the southwest Nova Scotia, where there are still some warmer temperatures this hour, including at Shelburne, which is reporting a temperature of 25 degrees. Again, relative humidity with this weather system is also increasing for the Maritimes. The reason for that is those north North and northeast winds are tapping in air pretty much from directly right over top of the Labrador Sea. So by its nature, that air is going to be on the cooler and damp side. So even though so far with this weather system, the precipitation has been sort of off and on by nature and it's been scattered in coverage, mostly in the form of some showers. You can see most shower activity right now around northern and northeastern areas of New Brunswick, as well as parts of Prince Edward Island. The overall humidity in our air is starting to come up and will continue to climb as we move into the upcoming weekend. What will also happen this weekend is that front is expected to stall around Nova Scotia. That's going to be bringing in a more prolonged period of rain as we move through tonight and Saturday. And I will have a closer look at that weekend forecast when I come back just a little bit later on. Amanda. Okay, and we'll be taking a close look at it. Thank you so much, Kaylin.